The University of North Carolina at Greensboro UNCG, also known as UNC Greensboro, is a public coeducational and research university in Greensboro, North Carolina, United States and is a constituent institution of the University of North Carolina system. However, UNCG, like all members of the UNC system, is a standalone university and awards its own degrees. UNCG is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges to award baccalaureate, master's, specialist and doctoral degrees. The university offers more than 100 undergraduate, 61 master's and 26 doctoral programs. The university's academic schools and programs include the College of Arts and Sciences, the Joseph M. Bryan School of Business and Economics, the School of Education, the School of Health and Human Sciences, the Joint School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering one of the first such schools in the nation, the School of Music, Theater and Dance, the School of Nursing, Continual Learning, Graduate School, Warren Ashby Residential College and Lloyd International Honors College. The university is also home to the nationally renowned Weatherspoon Art Museum, which features one of the largest and most impressive collections of modern American art in the country. The university holds two classifications from the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching, as a research university with high research activity and for community engagement in curriculum, outreach and partnerships. History Credit for the founding of UNCG goes mainly to Charles Duncan McIver, a crusader for the cause of women's education. McIver served the institution as its first chief executive officer with the title of president. This position has also seen various names, with the administrator being known as the Dean of Administration after 1934 and Chancellor from 1945 to present. The school was established as a women's college by legislative enactment on February 18, 1891 as the State Normal and Industrial School and opened October 5, 1892. The school provided instruction in business, domestic science, and teaching with a student body of 223 and a faculty of 15 in its first year. R. S. Pullen and R. T. Gray gave the original 10-acre site in Greensboro, North Carolina where the first building was erected with state funds totaling $30,000. It is the first and only public university in North Carolina founded for the purpose of educating women. In 1949, it became the largest all-female institution in the United States. The school has seen many names over the years, changing from the State Normal and Industrial School", to the State Normal and Industrial College in 1896, and again in 1919 to North Carolina College for Women. In 1932, it changed to the Women's College of the University of North Carolina, when it became one of the three charter institutions of the Consolidated University of North Carolina, and changed again to the University of North Carolina at Greensboro when men were first admitted to the school in 1963. It is remembered fondly by many graduates of the Women's College simply as the W.C. UNCG is in the midst of expanding beyond its traditional borders onto Gate City Boulevard, a major city thoroughfare, with the construction of an 800-bed residence hall for students, and this is just the beginning of the $200 million project on Gate City Boulevard. The new construction will be a mixed-use development, with space for retail and restaurants, along with student residence halls and a new student recreation center. The university's expansion into the West Lee Street Corridor was triggered by UNCG's strategic housing plan, which calls for the university to increase the percentage of undergraduates living in university housing from 30% to more than 40% over the next decade. In addition to providing room for UNCG's growth, the expansion also syncs with Greensboro's revitalization plan for the Gate City Boulevard Corridor, a main entry point and thoroughfare in the city. The project will also spur economic development in the area. Projections estimate the development will generate more than $590 million in new spending between 2014 and 2023, create 945 new jobs and boost local property revenues by $7.5 million. 
The expansion has not been without controversy, especially the $91 million Athletic Center. The Athletic Center is financed by a mandatory annual fee of $435 charged every UNCG student. A personnel scandal erupted in 2014. On September 25, UNCG terminated the employment of three persons in the university's public relations department and they were arrested on felony charges of operating a photography business on university time and with university property. On September 29, the story was broke on a local blog. University faculty and staff protested the firings and arrests. On October 30, the district attorney dropped all criminal charges against the three former employees. UNCG defended reporting the incident to legal authorities, but announced that the former employees had the right to appeal their termination through the personnel grievance system. On October 20, 2014, Chancellor Linda Brady announced her retirement effective July 31, 2015. Brady said her retirement was not related to the ongoing personnel scandal at the university. On January 27, 2015, the head of the Public Relations Department tendered his resignation, effective February 6. Topic recognition The Princeton Review ranked UNCG No. 2 in its list of «best values» in public universities in the nation. It also places UNCG in the «best in the Southeast» category and ranks UNCG among the nation's top colleges in «the best 373 colleges». UNCG is recognized in Forbes 2010 America's Best Colleges. Kiplinger's ranks UNCG as one of the 100 best values among public, four-year schools in the United States. Six other North Carolina institutions made the list, Appalachian State, East Carolina, NC State, UNC Asheville, UNC Chapel Hill, and UNC Wilmington. The UNCG School of Nursing has received one of the top national honors by the National League of Nursing, which has listed the school as a center of excellence in nursing education. UNCG's Counselor Education Program is ranked by U.S. News & World Report The Department of Counseling and Educational Development is third nationally among counseling programs in the magazine's 2013 report. The program, the only specialty education program in the state to be ranked, has been consistently been ranked in the top five. The School of Education is 56th in the country for 2010. In previous years, UNCG has been ranked in the top 50. The Public Affairs Graduate Program is currently ranked 104 in the 2012 National Universities Rankings. UNCG was named as having the best public university chapter of Phi Beta Kappa in the country for the year 2006. It is also the home institution of North Carolina Poet Laureate Emeritus Fred Chappelle. UNCG was named the top nursing program in North Carolina 2011 the evening MBA by the UNCG Bryan School of Business and Economics is ranked number 13 in the nation Bloomberg Businessweek 2013 part-time MBA ranking consumer apparel and retail studies program by the UNCG Bryan School of Business and Economics ranked as the 13th best fashion program in the nation by the website fashion schools org Campus UNCG has an architecturally diverse campus with distinctively unique landmarks. Historic structures include the Faust Building 1891, Spencer Hall 1904, 1907, the Quad 1919 to 1923, the Chancellor's Residence 1923, Akic Auditorium 1927, and Alumni House 1937. Other features include a statue of Minerva, the goddess of wisdom, located to the east of Elliott University Center. Minerva has been a part of campus from the first diploma bearing her likeness in 1894 to the statue erected near the center in 2003. Minerva also inspired the university's new graphic identity program, which was launched in 2004. Other landmarks include, Charlie a statue of the university's founder Charles Duncan McIver outside Jackson Library. The White Tower stacks of the Jackson Library and the Spartan Water Tower are recognizable structures in the Greensboro community, and the campus is also home to the Rock and the Clock Tower, 
two campus landmarks and school traditions see traditions below a new bell tower at the corner of college avenue and spring garden street was completed in 2005 the fountain is another landmark on uncg's campus and is a common meeting place for student groups Visible from parts of the quad all the way to the Elliott University Center and from above in the Jackson Library and the CAF, the large steps and platform around the fountain are frequently home to demonstrations, performances, and fraternity, sorority functions. The campus is in close proximity within hours drive to many other universities. North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, Duke, Elon, High Point University, NC State, UNC Chapel Hill, UNC Charlotte, Wake Forest, and Winston-Salem State University. The university is located about halfway between Washington, D.C. and Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Students. Of the students enrolled at the school, 32% are male and 68% female. Students come from 46 states and 90 countries. Around 25% of undergraduates are minorities, and 20% are African American. <laughs> <laughs> Student demographics Topic: Athletics. The intercollegiate athletics program at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro reaches as far back as the late 1940s during the days of the WCUNC, with students participating in national golf tournaments in 1948 and the school hosting the national tournaments for women's golf (1954) and tennis (1965). During the 1980s, all Spartan teams competed in Division III and then Division II of the National Collegiate Athletic Association, and all teams have competed in Division I since fall 1991. Between 1982–1987 the men's soccer team won the NCAA Division III National Championship title every year except for 1984. Today UNCG competes in the Southern Conference, which is made up of ten schools across five states in the Southeast. The 17 athletic teams currently at UNCG include, baseball, men's basketball, women's basketball, men's cross country, women's cross country, men's golf, women's golf, men's soccer, women's soccer, softball, men's indoor track, women's indoor track, men's tennis, women's tennis, men's track, women's track, women's volleyball. Wrestling was dropped in the spring of 2011. Although not considered official sports teams, the athletic department also includes the UNCG cheerleading squad and the UNCG dance team, the Spartan G's. UNCG's men's basketball team moved into a new home in 2009-10, making the Greensboro Coliseum its home court. The move was announced by UNCG Chancellor Dr. Linda Brady on December 5, 2008. As a preview of things to come, UNCG hosted Davidson in its new venue two months later and drew a crowd of 11,687. On December 29, 2010 a UNCG record attendance of 22,178 watched the Spartans host the Duke Blue Devils. At full capacity, the building holds more than 23,000 fans for basketball giving UNCG the ability to have potentially one of the largest basketball arenas in the country. UNCG utilizes a variety of configurations for its contests with a minimum capacity of 7,617. As part of the move, the Coliseum remodeled a floor into a Spartan home floor and completely renovated a massive locker room space for the team, complete with training room, meeting facilities, coaches' offices and a player's lounge. The team is coached by former University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill player Wes Miller, who at the time of his appointment in 2012 was the youngest head coach in Division I. Former UNCG women's basketball coach Lina Gee, who retired following the 2010-2011 season, ranks among the most successful coaches in intercollegiate women's basketball history. 
Currently, she is one of just 45 coaches in the history of the women's game to have engineered more than 600 victories. See list of college women's basketball coaches with 600 wins. Under Agui's guidance, UNCG reached the 20 win plateau 16 times. The Spartans also earned berths into the Division I national tournament once, the Division II tournament once, and the Division III tournament seven times. With Agui at the helm, UNCG became one of only ten teams nationally all divisions to reach the NCAA tournament each of the first seven years it was held 1982 With UNCG's 1998 NCAA appearance, Agui became the first women's coach in history to take teams to the NCAA tournament in all three divisions. UNCG is now coached by Roxboro, Person County native and former WNBA player Wendy Palmer. The Blue Crew The Blue Crew is a student organization dedicated to cheering on the Spartans at athletic events. Clubs and traditions UNCG is home to a large number of diverse and active sports and student organizations from Greek life to a radio station, and some traditions unique to the school. Clubs In fall 2010, the clubs and organizations affiliated with UNCG included 36 honor societies and 20 fraternities and sororities. The university also has an active student government association, founded in 1910, Campus Activities Board and several foreign culture groups, a neo-black society, Pride an LGBT support and acceptance group, Queer Student Collective, the Science Fiction Fantasy Federation, and various performing arts, religious and service programs. Student media groups also produce UNCG's newspaper The Carolinian, CORADDI Fine Arts Magazine, and WUAG 103.1 Campus Radio Station. The campus also includes numerous political organizations for students, including the College Republicans, College Democrats, College Libertarians and the International Socialist Organization and other activist groups including STAND, an organization focused on the situation in the Darfur region of Sudan. Topic club sports All clubs are recognized student organizations through the UNCG's Office of Campus Activities and Programs. This is a list of clubs that are members of the Club Sports Council. Topic: <inaudible> Greek Life. UNCG is home to 20 social fraternities and sororities that each have their own traditions. Their main event is Greek Week, a week-long celebration of Greek life and team building games that take place each year in April. Other events include Greek treats in October and a luminary display in December. The following Greek organizations are present at UNCG. Topic: Traditions. Some of the most visible traditions at UNCG take place between the University Dining Hall and the Elliott University Center where The Rock and the clock tower are located. The Rock The Rock is a large boulder donated by members of Alpha Phi Omega in 1973 and painted nearly every day by students, who use it as a giant message board. Unofficial rules govern the use of the rock, and students know not to use foul language and that messages must be left for at least 24 hours before being painted over. Students know when they can begin to paint over the previous message on the rock by the two smaller rocks in front of it, one for the date, and one for the time at which the message was painted. The rock was originally placed where the fountain is today, on the hill in front of the dining hall. The spelling of the rock came about as a means to express the more iconic status of it. It is a part of UNCG's Rockin' Welcome Week, which they host a venue of activities to welcome the incoming freshmen at the university. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Clock Towers. Students at the university also uphold the tradition of not walking beneath the four-faced clock tower located near the rock. It is said that those who walk under the clock will not graduate on time, and some students believe in this almost religiously, avoiding the bricks around the clock tower as well. Only graduates and the occasional unbeliever walk through the middle of the four posts to read the plaque below the clocks. Students are also told not to depend on the time shown on any of the clock's faces. All four faces tend to show slightly different times. A new clock and bell tower, the Nicholas A. V. A. C. C. Bell Tower, was constructed in 2005 on the site of the old University Bell, at the corner of College Avenue and Spring Garden Street. The bells ring on the hour and on every quarter of the hour in a sequence made famous by the Big Ben chimes. Other traditions It is also a tradition each year to give new students a Minerva pin and a daisy—the school flower of UNCG—after student convocation. The daisy was the inspiration for the original two school colors, gold and white. Navy blue was added to the color palette in 1987, "...to provide better visual contrast to publications, merchandise and athletic uniforms." Another tradition is the ringing of the university bell to open the academic year at the start of each fall semester. Yet another tradition is to put a wreath of daisies at the foot of the statue of Charles McIver at UNCG and on the grounds of the North Carolina State Capitol on Founders Day. This is done by the alumni of the university. Also, luminaries are placed all around campus for reading day. Administration Topic Sustainability There has long been enthusiasm around making UNCG a more sustainable institution. Efforts in facilities, academic circles, and student groups have helped UNCG progress in positive ways. Complementing these efforts was the appointment of the Environmental and Sustainability Manager, a position that expanded the responsibilities of the Recycling Manager. The Environmental and Sustainability Manager was charged with reducing the overall environmental impact of the university in addition to waste management responsibilities. In 2004, the Office of Waste Reduction and Recycling oversaw a comprehensive sustainability assessment of UNCG's achievements in sustainability as well as possible areas for improvement. Despite the independent initiatives of the OWRR and within the campus community, a unified, cross-campus collaboration was lacking. In fall of 2006, resulting from an initiative of Faculty Senate President Anna Marshall Baker, Provost A. Edward U. Pritchard, and Vice Chancellor of Business Affairs Reed Taylor, the University Committee on Sustainability was created and over 50 staff, faculty, students and administrators joined. The committee brought to light UNCG's commitment to becoming a sustainable institution. UNCG established sustainability as one of its five core values through the 2009 Strategic Plan. In this document, the university defines sustainability as, academics, operations, and outreach, conducted with careful attention to the enduring interconnectedness of social equity, the environment, the economy, and aesthetics. This action led to the creation of the Office of Sustainability with the hiring of the university's first full-time sustainability coordinator in April 2010, as well as the formation of the UNCG Sustainability Council in September 2010. In October 2011, Dr. Linda Brady, Chancellor of the University of North Carolina at Greensboro UNCG, signed the American College and University President's Climate Commitment pledging the university to develop a comprehensive plan to achieve climate neutrality. This action was the culmination of years of effort by faculty, students and staff to have UNCG emerge as a local and national leader in sustainable practices. It was also the primary reason for development of the Campus Climate Action Plan CAP, led by the UNCG Sustainability Coordinator, Trey McDonald and involving a team of more than 50 UNCG students, staff and faculty. 
The CAP team was divided into six working groups around specific focus areas, university administration, infrastructure energy use, transportation, materials management, water, and academics and outreach, and the final plan was officially adopted on July 31, 2013. The university has further expanded sustainability efforts into academics by appointing an academic sustainability coordinator, achievements and recognition, best workplaces for commuters, best university 2012, gold medal 2011, 2012, and 2013 League of American Cyclists, bronze level bicycle friendly university. Sierra Club Cool Schools, 51st 2011, 39th 2012, 76th 2013 Stars Sustainability Tracking, Assessment and Rating System, Charter Participant and Silver Ratings for 2011, 2012, 2013. Gold Rating for 2014. Sustainable Endowments Institute, 2010 D+, 2011 B. 10 LEED Certified Buildings on Campus, Tree Campus USA 2009 to 2013. Topic: University Libraries. The UNCG University Library System has two branches. They are the Walter Clinton Jackson Library, the main campus library. This includes the Martha Blakeney Hodges Special Collections and University Archives. The Harold Schiffman Music Library other affiliated libraries on campus include the Teaching Resources Center and the Self-Designed Studio housed in the School of Education the Interior Architecture Library the Multicultural Resource Center Library located in the Elliott University Center Topic academic units UNCG is distinguished by its five leadership areas, business, cultural leadership, education, public policy and social change, and science. Additionally, the university is home to a bevy of research institutes and centers including the Gateway University Research Park, Center for Applied Research, Center for Creative Writing in the Arts, Center for Drug Discovery, Institute for Community and Economic Engagement, Center for Biotechnology, Genomics and Health Research, Music Research Institute and the Southeastern Regional Vision for Education serve. The university is organized into one traditional college, one specialty college, one professional college, and seven professional schools, College of Arts and Sciences College of Visual and Performing Arts Lloyd International Honors College Joseph M. Bryan School of Business and Economics School of Education School of Health and Human Sciences School of Nursing School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering the Graduate School Topic College of Arts and Sciences The College of Arts and Sciences is the largest of the 8 academic units that make up the university with almost 500 full-time faculty in 21 academic departments and 7 interdepartmental programs spanning the arts, humanities, social sciences, natural sciences and mathematics. The school recently established a learning community achieving together of math and science Adams and innovation in math science IMS within the College of Arts and Sciences system. These communities' goals are to recruit incoming freshmen majoring in math and science to encourage advance research and excellence in academic achievements within these fields. As of 2013, more than 100 freshmen have enrolled in both Adams and IMS with scholarship opportunities awarded by the College of Arts and Sciences. UNCG requires all students, no matter what their major, to complete a general education curriculum GEC that includes courses in the traditional liberal arts, as well as courses that introduce them to new perspectives that have become increasingly important today. The college offers most of the university's general education courses, in addition to the hundreds of more specialized courses that make up its undergraduate majors and graduate programs. The College of Arts and Sciences has 7,135 undergraduates enrolled as of 2009 fall semester. <laughs> Lloyd International Honors College 
The Lloyd International Honors College is a selective honors college at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro and provides undergraduate students in all majors an opportunity to reach a higher level of academic achievement in the same time it takes to earn a regular degree. The college offers three honors academic programs that allow students to enhance their general education studies international honors program, work in their major disciplinary honors program, or their entire undergraduate education while at UNCG full honors program. All honors students take special honors courses that are generally restricted to no more than 20–25 students and often have an interdisciplinary focus. For those who wish to complete international honors or full university honors, an international experience and a second language are required. There are also a variety of independent study and research opportunities that give honors students the chance to design courses that fit their special needs and interests and to work one-on-one -on -one with faculty. Finally, Lloyd International Honors College offers a variety of extracurricular opportunities including lunches where students and faculty discuss issues of the day, student symposium, debates, special lectures and performances, enhanced study abroad opportunities, and special residence hall options. <laughs> Joseph M. Bryan School of Business and Economics The Bryan School of Business and Economics is the largest of UNCG's seven professional schools. It was founded in 1969, and is named for Joseph M. Bryan, a prominent figure in North Carolina business and philanthropy. The Bryan School is among the top 1% of business schools worldwide that have achieved accreditation in both business and accounting by AACSB International the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business. The Bryan School has 73 full-time faculty as well as 3,200 undergraduates and 460 graduate students. There are also more than 20,000 alumni. Dr. McCray C. Mack. Banks II is the fourth dean of the Joseph M. Bryan School of Business and Economics, who was approved by the UNCG Board of Trustees on March 17, 2011. The first to hold the Virginia Bat Phillips Professorship, Dr. Banks started his tenure as Dean on July 1, 2011. Topic mission statement In the Bryan School of Business and Economics, we create and disseminate knowledge about the theory and practice of business. In addition to our courses and research, we accomplish this through hands-on projects, global experiences, and outreach to the community. Our work produces principled leaders and exceptional problem solvers who have a global perspective, an innovative mindset, a broad understanding of sustainability, and a commitment to improve the organizations in which they work and the communities in which they live. <coughs> Accreditation and rankings Bloomberg ranks Bryan Evening MBA program as number 13 in the nation. The Princeton Review has named the UNCG Bryan School of Business and Economics as one of the top business schools in the country, including the Bryan School in the latest edition of the annual guidebook, The Best 295 Business Schools, for the 14th consecutive year. School of Education The School of Education has several graduate programs, one notable one being a doctorate in philosophy PhD in educational studies with a concentration in cultural studies from the Educational Leadership and Cultural Foundations Department. The history of the School of Education of UNCG has its roots in the founding of the university itself. Originally designated in 1891 as the North Carolina State Normal and Industrial School, UNCG was established as a school to train women educators, based on the assumption that if women received training they would, in turn, educate their children and ultimately improve the level of education and literacy in the state. Founding of the Normal was a long time in coming. Although providing state-supported higher education for women in North Carolina had been an occasional topic of discussion among educators, the idea did not appear to be taken seriously until after the Civil War. 
When the idea was first formally proposed to the state's legislators, all of whom were men, it was overwhelmingly resisted. It was not until Charles Duncan MacIver reminded the General Assembly that the state's constitution asserted, "...instruction of youth would be provided at low prices and would be encouraged at one or more universities." MacIver argued that women were part of its youth and were, therefore, rightfully entitled to an education. In addition to the constitutional basis for establishing an institution for women, several other factors came into play. First, there was an extensive need for qualified public school teachers, a career path assumed to be especially attractive to women. Also, there was overwhelming evidence that the public school system in North Carolina was among the worst in the nation. For example, the average national expenditure per student enrolled in the public schools was $17.62, but North Carolina spent only $3.36 per student. Similarly, the average national length of the school year was 135 days, but it was only 60 days in North Carolina. Indeed, for almost a decade after the normal was founded, the curriculum involved diplomas awarded for work that was distinctly below college level. At the time few public high schools turned out female graduates who were prepared to handle college level work. The curriculum was gradually modified over time and the normal school became a full-fledged college in 1897. Baccalaureate degrees followed in 1903 and graduates were awarded a diploma and life license to teach in North Carolina. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> College of Visual and Performing Arts. The UNCG College of Visual and Performing Arts is home to over 900 student majors and more than 100 distinguished faculty members. On July 1, 2010, the School of Music was combined administratively with the Departments of Theater and Dance to create the School of Music, Theater and Dance. In 2016, the Department of Art was transferred from the College of Arts and Sciences, thus giving way to the renaming of the unit. The offices for the new combined school remain in the current music building, with the art department remaining at its present location. Student organizations include Delta Chi Xi, Alpha Chapter Mu Phi Epsilon, Alpha Xi Chapter Phi Mu Alpha Sinfonia, Iota Epsilon Chapter Sigma Alpha Iota, Kappa Gamma Chapter Collegiate Music Educators National Conference American Choral Directors Association American String Teachers Association Graduate Music Student Association Society of Composers, Inc. Student Chapter Alpha Psi Omega School of Nursing The School of Nursing was established in September 1966 under the leadership of the first dean, Eloise R. Lewis. The first class of BSN students graduated in 1970. In 1976, the MSN program was initiated. The school began the Ph.D. program Fall 2005. The school continues to offer both undergraduate and graduate programs with over 4,000 alumni. The school also offers an outreach program in Hickory, North Carolina for RN to BSN students and a concentration in education for MSN students. The average passage rate for the NCLEX is over 90% for pre-licensure graduates and all of the graduates from the nurse anesthesia program are nationally certified. The adult and gerontological nurse practitioner program leads to eligibility for national certification. Students have the opportunity for clinical experiences in over 400 agencies throughout the state of North Carolina. The school supports four nursing clinics for the elderly as educational sites for students. All students are advised by nursing faculty. Topic School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering The Joint School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering JSNN is a collaborative project between North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University and UNCG. The mission of the JSNN is to train students to conduct basic and applied research in nanotechnology. 
The Joint School for Nanoscience and Nanoengineering is expected to offer professional Master of Science and PhD degrees in nanoscience and nanoengineering. Nanoscience and nanoengineering training for scientists and engineers already in the workforce. The JSNN will engage in activities that influence economic development locally and globally. This program will support the entrepreneurial activities at both campuses to better transfer innovation to practice. Programs of study focus on three main areas, nanobioscience, which emphasizes biological and chemical aspects of nanoscience, nanotechnology, which emphasizes engineering and ecological aspects, and environmental nanoscience, which will address ethical and environmental implications of nanoscience. These programs of study lead to professional master's or Ph.D. degrees. The biological and chemical research emphasis offered by the JSNN is the first in the nation. The only other two existing professional master's programs in nanoscience and nanoengineering are at Rice University and University at Albany, SUNY, neither of which offers a biological or chemical emphasis. JSNN and its academic, research and outreach programs will position North Carolina to take advantage of the explosive economic growth expected from the next wave of nanotechnology innovation. Commercialization of fundamental research in nanoscience and nanoengineering will have a broad impact across many industries and enable technologies that were once thought impossible. The Graduate School The Graduate School at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro directs and manages the graduate programs on campus for approximately 3,600 graduate students from 33 states and 34 foreign countries. Some of the activities coordinated by the Graduate School staff Disseminate program and admission information to prospective students Collect and process application materials submitted to the university. Coordinate the admission process with academic departments. Assist students with interpretation of policy, course registration and withdrawal. Monitor academic eligibility. Review theses, dissertations for formatting requirements. Process applications for graduation. Process degree audits, degree clearances. Work with the Graduate Studies Committee to approve all new, revised graduate programs, curricula, and policy. Other notable academic units MFA Writing Program During the early years, the university had among its faculty a number of noted writers, such as Alan Tate, Caroline Gordon, John Crow Ransom, Hiram Hyden, Peter Taylor, Roby McCauley and Randall Yarrail. They invited other distinguished writers to campus to read from their work and to meet with students. These writers included Robert Lowell, Robert Frost, Flannery O'Connor, Robert Penn Warren, Eudora Welty, and Saul Bellow. In 1965, under the leadership of Robert Watson, creative writing offerings were formalized. Since that time, enrollment has grown, but the faculty has intentionally kept the program small, enabling students to have individual conferences with faculty. Notable faculty members have included Fred Chappelle, H.T. Kirby Smith, Michael Parker, Craig Nova, Stuart Diskell, Jennifer Grotz and David Roderick. Notable graduates include Claudia Emerson, Steve Almond, Keith Lee Morris, Lee Hadaway and Rodney Jones. Topic Gateway University Research Park Gateway University Research Park is a 501 not-for-profit entity created to manage and operate the joint collaboration between North Carolina A&T State University and UNCG for the purposes of supporting research and economic development within the triad. Gateway University Research Park aims to attract and retain educational, corporate and community service agencies which advance scientific and educational research in technology. The park consists of two campuses. 
This novel joint venture between NCANT and UNCG is designed to facilitate collaborations between world-class researchers and businesses, to move scientific discoveries from the lab to the marketplace benefiting the local community, region, and North Carolina by transforming cutting-edge intellectual properties into thriving business ventures. A $400 million master plan has been developed for the two campuses of Gateway University Research Park and when fully developed, the research park is anticipated to generate an economic impact of $50 million per year in the triad. Upon full build out of the project, it is further anticipated that companies and agencies located at the Gateway University Research Park will encompass more than 2,000 employees. The southeast campus of the research park already houses the aforementioned School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering. Topic: Residential Colleges. UNCG is home to 3 residential colleges, smaller communities within the university designed to enrich the student experience. Cornelia Strong College Cornelia Strong College provides a social and academic community within the context of the larger university. Strong College has a curriculum focused on sustainability. The college is a two-year program, similar to that of Ashby College. After two years at Strong College students take a fieldwork capstone course to graduate from the program. Strong College Fellows are faculty members who take an active role in the development of Strong College's student members. <laughs> Grogan College Ioni Grogan College, established in 1997, is limited to freshmen and serves about 300 students per year. The college is divided into smaller learning communities, each headed by a faculty fellow. The college offers classes that meet general requirements, and ease freshmen into the college experience. <laughs> Ashby Residential College The Warren Ashby Residential College at Mary Faust, established in 1970, is a community of freshmen and sophomore students, faculty and staff who live or work in Mary Faust Hall. Also known as RC or ARC, the college offers small classes, close student and faculty interaction and a rich community living experience. In addition to freshmen and sophomores, those who have graduated from the program and are rising juniors or seniors may apply to be Mary Faust upperclassmen. Typically 8 to 12 or so juniors and seniors are selected each year to continue living in Mary Faust as mentors. Each upperclassman is required to complete an upperclassman project. These projects are typically activities that support community interaction within Mary Faust. Many Mary Faust alumni continue to support and participate in Ashby Residential College. Many of the staff are alumni. Notable alumni Steve Almond, author of Candy Freak, My Life in Heavy Metal, and The Evil B.B. Chael Norman Anderson, CEO of the American Psychological Association PhD in Clinical Psychology from UNCG Gerald Austin, NFL referee Jim Avid, musician and father of Scott Avid and Seth Avid of the Avid Brothers Christel Trump Bond, American dancer, choreographer, and dance historian Catherine Stripling Byer, born 1944, American poet and teacher, North Carolina poet laureate 2005 to 2009. Andy Kabak, singer-songwriter for the band Vetiver. Chris Chalk, actor in the Fox show Gotham and the movie 12 Years a Slave. Paul Chelimo, 2016 Olympic silver medalist at 5000 meters in track and field. The Darlinettes vocal group Tracy Ducar, professional soccer player Claudia Emerson, Pulitzer Prize-winning author Sue Ramsey Johnston Ferguson, North Carolina State Senator 
Dale Folwell, North Carolina House of Representatives, R, District 74, 2004 present. Virginia Fox, U.S. Representative, R, District 5, NC, 2005 present. Emily V. Gordon, writer and producer, Academy Award nominated for her autobiographical film The Big Sick. Melanie Green, dancer and choreographer. Bertha Harris, lesbian feminist author. Emmy Lou Harris, Grammy-winning country music, folk singer-songwriter Barbara Hervé, judge of the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, resides in San Antonio Ricky Hickman, professional basketball player in Israel for Maccabi Tel Aviv Kyle Hines, basketball player who is one of only six men's players in NCAA history to score 2,000 points, grab 1,000 rebounds and block 300 shots in a career Beth Leval, Tony Award-winning Broadway actress Carol Mann, LPGA Hall of Fame golfer Nadia Moffat, Miss North Carolina USA 2010 Keith Lee Morris, author of The Dart League King, The Greyhound God, and The Best Seats in the House Alejandro Moreno, retired Venezuelan international soccer player and MLS forward and ESPN soccer analyst Robert Morgan, poet, author of Gap Creek, selected by Oprah's Book Club Kevin Nanny, professional Super Smash Bros. player BA. In psychology Samwell, internet celebrity made famous by his video, What What? In the Butt Tom Smith, musician, inductee into Jazz Education Hall of Fame Mary Ellen Snodgrass, author and two-time New York Public Library Award winner Justin Torno, dancer and choreographer. Celeste Ulrich, 1924 to 2011, class of 1946, educator in physical education. Danny Valencia, born 1984, major league baseball player. Topic: Notable events. 1993 House of Cards with Tommy Lee Jones filmed on location 2005 Home of the Giants filmed on location 2006 Inauguration of University of North Carolina System President Erskine Bowles, now retired